You're watching the news on Bahrain Television. A very good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Skhir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Italy, Fiji, Montenegro, Kyrgyzstan and the Netherlands. The ambassador of the Republic of Italy, Domenico Bellato, arrived at the Sakhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of the Republic of Fiji, Kamlesh Prakash, arrived at Skhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of the royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The newly appointed ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between them. The ambassador of Montenegro, Darko Oskokovic, arrived at Skhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between them. The ambassador of the Republic of Kyrgyzstan, Joseph Bek Sharipov, arrived at Skhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of the Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for him.
The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King, and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty and the ambassador. The ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Franz Jakob Putout, arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was met by the head of the Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between them. His Majesty the King underlined with the audience the close relations linking Bahrain and their countries and their progress in many areas. For their part, the ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of their leaders and their wishes to His Majesty for good health and happiness and to Bahrain for further progress and prosperity. The ceremony was attended by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, the Minister of Royal Court, the Minister of Follow-up, head of the Royal Protocol and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs under Secretary.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued today Edict Number 51 for this year, appointing Sheikh Khalid bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as Director in the Ministry of Interior. The edict assigned the Minister of Interior to designate the mentioned in a directorate that suits his qualifications and experience. The Prime Minister also issued Edict Number 52, appointing directors in the Ministry of Interior, which are Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Ali Rashid Mantar, Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Rashid Ali Shahi, Major Maryam Mahmoud Qasim Al Barduli, and and Major Hassan Jassim Hamad Hassan. The edict assigned the Minister of Interior to designate the mentioned in directorates that suit their qualifications and experience. His Rohan has issued Edict Number 53, appointing Hisham Mahmoud Khalid Sharida as Director of Engineering Services and Investment, and Mohammed Ali Hassan Bouchiri as Director of Information and Follow Up, both at the Governorate of Muharraq. The Prime Minister also edict issued Edict Number 54, appointing Isa Ibrahim Mendi as Director of Human and Financial Resources at the General Coordination for Governorates of the Interior Ministry. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued directives to employ 23 employees who are currently on part-time contracts as full-time employees at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning. And that comes with the coordination of the Civil Services Bureau. The directives come in the framework of helping employees at the Ministry get the full-time contract in order to provide them with high living standards in addition to benefits from their expertise. Minister of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning, Assam Khalaf, thanked His Royal Highness for his generous directives affirming that this will motivate the employees to exert more efforts and contribute to the municipal service and urban work. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received today at Glebia Palace royal family members and state officials. He stated that religion should bring people together rather than separate between them and that it should urge unity and brotherhood based on the teachings of Islam. He affirmed that Islam is innocent from racism, extremism and violence as it is a religion of love, mercy and forgiveness. He added that it is the role of clergymen to teach and convey Islamic moderation. His Royal Highness affirmed that the doors are open for everyone, including preachers and leaders of faith as they have an essential role in the National March, particularly under the critical circumstances the region faces, which calls for wisdom and moderation. The Prime Minister emphasized the government's interest in heritage sites as they are important national and historical assets because they teach the world about the cultural history and people of Bahrain. He affirmed the necessity to name some areas according to the social and cultural histories of Bahrain. The audience lauded His Royal Highness' keenness to communicate with citizens in different events and support them under all circumstances. On this occasion, the Shargi family thanked the Premier for his condolences on the death of Abdul Aziz Jalal Sharki. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a meeting today in which the Minister of Information Affairs Ali bin Mohammed Al Ramayh briefed the audience on the new development plans for state media, especially television, radio and press, as well as the implementation of His Royal Highness directives regarding preparing national caters. The Prime Minister directed the state media to be on an advanced technical level in order to keep up with world media, properly convey the image of the kingdom and its political, legal and economic achievements, and to deflect the attempts to undermine these achievements he urged to adopt initiatives that guarantee developing the state's official television and radio programs so as to live up to people's aspirations of liberal media under the directives of His Majesty the King. During the meeting, the Prime Minister directed to provide the official state media organization with all its needs in order to keep abreast of the development and communication. He stressed that the political and democratic movement, as well as the comprehensive development in the kingdom, should be reflected and delivered to the world through different means of communication. He also urged to follow training programs to 
prepare now, Slicators. The Prime Minister commended the Minister of Information's experience, highlighting his ability to lead the official state media organization to more development. For his part, the Minister of Information thanked the Prime Minister for the support he gives to the information sector. He affirmed that the Ministry of Information Affairs will continue its efforts to develop media in Bahrain through preparing national caters to deliver the national message to the world. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahraini Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stated that the royal patronage the youth and sports movement in Bahrain receives under the leadership of His Majesty the King reflects Bahrain's development in the athletic field. He affirmed that His Majesty's reception of a number of medal-winning athletes is proof of the comprehensive care athletes receive from His Majesty, which motivates them to obtain more achievements. Sheikh Nasser added that the current Bahraini athletics achievements represent a huge leap in the sports field under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. He said the achievement took place because of His Majesty's vision of investing in Bahraini youth. He affirmed that Bahraini champions acted as messengers in different global sports forums and asked Bahraini athletes to put more efforts into future championships. Chief of the Public Security Major General Tariq Al Hassan inspected the sites of the GCC Joint Exercise Arabian Gulf Security One that will be held in Bahrain this month. The Major General, who is also head of the Events Control Authority, inspected the buildings and establishments of the field areas. In addition to the preparations of the administration team to meet the goals of the event that is considered as a first of its kind, he asserted that the exercise offers high levels of training and exchange of information and expertise as part of security cooperation and coordination to tackle regional challenges and threats. He said that among the event's goals is training on dealing with different security incidents, including counterterrorism. He highlighted the importance of reinforcement of efforts to promote GCC joint security work and unification of concepts of dealing with threats. The Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications participated in the GTEx 2016 in Dubai. The participation comes under Bahrain's National Pavilion under the patronage of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal Ahmed, along with 32 participants from the public and private sectors. The participation reflects Bahrain's keenness to enhance its status in such international events in addition to coping with recent developments in information and communication technology.